it's super important to remember to take care of yourself. I know I say that a lot, um, but I think a practical way to do that is to limit your social media time. It's to check your thoughts. Um, it's to notice when you're being um, aggressive or agitated or um, short-tempered or not having patience and to really like do the inner work and the shadow work to be like, why am I being like this right now? Um, and just giving yourself space and, and a lot of the time it's saying no to things that you think might hurt someone else's feelings, but it's actually anytime that you can say no to something that isn't a hell yes, then it's saving like your own self. It's saving your own, um, it's being an ally to yourself. And I think that we all should be allies to ourselves first and get rid of this culture that thinks that putting yourself first is selfish. It's not selfish. It's actually the w only way that you can help other people and help take care of other people. Um, so yeah, if you need that reminder today, if you're scrolling and you go from Instagram to the TV and eating fast food and eating, you know, not, oh, not anything that you're cooking at home and you feel like shit, like examine that and look at how can I be, how can I go about my day differently or like what habits can I do differently? For me, um, you know, if I notice that with social media where I'm just on it too much and I'm just scrolling, 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 um, cold turkey doesn't work for everyone so I will pick it up and say okay I'm gonna do a one two three and usually I just do three posts and then I just get off and I try to do it that way um, because a lot of the time it's the three posts that I see are the ones I needed to see and that's why I talk about following positive people and people that have that show up on your feed and you are inspired or you laugh or you resonate really deeply with because if you do that one, two, three, then you don't have to be scrolling on social media all day. You can just do that quick check in and then go about your day. So check in with yourself and ask yourself, what can I do to increase my mood today? And then do it. And make that commitment to yourself for just one day. You don't have to do it for an entire week or anything. Just do it one day. And then the next day when you wake up, see if you want to continue that or not. But I think it's important to make those commitment to your, commitments to yourself and hold true to them for an entire day and see how it changes your mood, see how it changes your vibe. So if you're feeling low vibe, if you're feeling low energy, if you have tension in your body, do something that's going to make it better and commit to yourself. And when you catch yourself going into old habits, even just one day, kick back into the habits that are going to make you feel good. 